We got the 2015 Chevrolet Silverado K2500 Heavy Duty LTZ and it, as you can see it was a rollover collision and everything and tires sticking out past the edge, pretty cool. Got the amp research steps that are not working very well but as you can see the whole front end is smashed. All the body panels look like they were uh, warped a good bit. It's kind of weird how the back two windows look like they're still in good condition. So going through the pictures here. As you can see this side looks a lot worse, bumper is destroyed, the chrome is showing through the bumper because I guess it was originally chrome and then paint matched. That's what most people do with these trucks, you can see they got the American flag right there looking pretty cool, we got the black, I mean the uh, color match back, custom taillights, looks like a 5 inch exhaust, looks like the bumper's got some LED pods put into it, I'd rather have an LT truck because of the full column interior, but this is an LT, Z, and yeah. So here's this another picture of the side profile. Tires and wheels looking pretty good. Looks like you got a block there because they don't know the structural integrity of the powertrain. But yeah, looks like both sides are pretty good when it comes to the window, rear windows at least. Interior, as you can see, it's a it's a pretty good interior besides you know the windshield and part of the top. It's looking bad, but other than that, the seats look fine. This is my kind of interior right here black with a little bit of silver trim just like my blue truck and there's the front and there's the back back looks like it's untouched this picture right here looks like it's from a brand new truck on the lot looks very clean and not destroyed at all just some information 10,000 pound truck there's the engine could get a better picture of the engine but as you can see nothing looks too bad on it there's the Duramax stock engine looks like for the most part but you know deletes and stuff like that don't show too well so let's go back to the original picture right there. It looks just, it's really sad to see, man. Very, very hard picture to see. Automatic transmission, four wheel drive, LTZ, Duramax, LML Duramax, by the way. It says uh, not repairable. And it's not ready for sale, but eventually it will be. And it'd be cool to, you know, build this up. So let me know if I should start with this build. And collision, rollover, cannot test start, key fobs are missing. Spare tire missing, custom wheels, airbags deployed, and it'd be about two grand to ship it from California to Pennsylvania. So that's the vehicle right there. That's uh, kind of my opinion. I love the white. I love the white of the truck. Love how the tires stick out past the edge. Love the color match, door handles, and the front end grille and the rear bumper and all that. Not too much of a fan of the L5P grille unless they color match the actual hood vent. Then it would look good, otherwise I never want it. Looks like the antenna's still there. But um, yeah, if that's uh, maybe that's the rest of the antenna right there, I don't I have no idea, but the truck looks pretty good nonetheless. I could probably fix it up, you know what I mean? Get it back on the road, offer a beater truck, Duramax. Definitely a scary sight to see though. Making a little RAM update. If you can see, you got the Trump decal on the back, and then we got the five inch exhaust tip right there. Oh, yeah, deleted diesel RAM, man. Update. All right, now here at Wilts doing an install. Is this the new one right here? Yeah. So, this is a Kenwood touchscreen. 
the new head unit the right there. For his new truck. New head unit for the truck. There it is, man. So first step, you want to pull this big trim piece off of the dash. As you can see, it's all one unit. Because GM did things right back then. It's the whole piece. You just... It was on the dash. Like there. As you can see, it covered everything. Covered the whole thing. You just pull that off with your hand. Or you can use a trim tool piece. Oh, we got a... Looks like we got one of these. Got the same thing. Just LED, if you guys remember. So now, we just need to... Take this part off, sorry about the dinging. Apologize for the lack of light here. Been recording the whole time. <laughs> really? I'm just kidding. What enticing vlog. <laughs> but yeah, no tomfoolery here. May have clickbaited you in the past, but uh, it's a real deal. No, just kidding, we just found this random truck and we're just gonna exchange the head unit real quick. Make some cash. So there's only two bolts and that's it? Three. I already took one out. Nice. <clears throat> I mean, I'm still not 100% sure on how to do it, but I've done it in the Ranger before, which is a far older model where they didn't have any wire harnesses. You mind so if I get those CB antennas? I'm keeping all extra parts just in case. So we got the unit out, antenna wire is not very long. Not at all. Now he's trying to get the connector out. I just don't want to snap it. It looks like you're supposed to pinch it, but... Yeah, it already sounds like it's about... Real world situations going on right here. <clears throat> no, it's coming out. No, it's not. Leave a comment below on what we should do here. <laughs> Dude, fuck out of here. Now, if this was live get some perspective <laughs> right now but right now you guys are useless <sighs> three two one all right there we go we got it out just pull it as hard as you can yeah that's I'm all we have to do you Here, gotta can you hold on to this one press the gray thing i'm gonna put the all right there we go just like that i don't know i think it's the jack on this microphone is messed up so i might have to get a new camera i don't i don't really want to because i got such a deal on this like 50 percent wait wait, wait. Steering wheel wiring codes. Prepare steering wheel connector. But you guys, I'm missing a cord. And it's super dark right now. Black Friday. I'm sure as you see this video, it's already been passed. But Black Friday is in two days. I'm getting speakers and everything, the whole kit and caboodle for the vehicle. So we're just going to push off installing the head unit until I can get okay <laughs> until i can get the other cord that i'm missing and then speakers and then just do it all at once especially when it's not pitch black dark outside and that's whenever we put the rebel plate on jordan's car yeah 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 that he still thinks that some random dude did <laughs> so <laughs> he'll never know unless he watches derek's youtube gmc vlogs yeah all right here in front of me is the scariest thing ever man we got autonomous features on this car. Look at these things. They're probably filming me right now. Oh my gosh, look at those two sensors things right there. Super freaking scary, man. That's why I'm not buying a truck anything newer than like 2016, 2015. And here's the aftermath. <laughs> Here we go, reinstalling a. Oh, we hold can't on. Even turn. Hold on. Wait. Hello. Hello. All right. Wait. No. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Reinstalling a stock head unit onto a truck. Honestly, I got sick and bored of being able to play my music all the time. I I'm saying, can you imagine doing this on a 2019? Uh, oh, on a 2019? Well, you probably wouldn't need to, but I mean, at least pulling <laughs> this panel off. Well, I mean, the work trucks don't have anything still. Oh. Well, actually, actually, no, I take that back. Work trucks actually have USBs in the console. Oh, yeah, you're but right. But the screens, right. the screens are literally like that. Like, they're honestly like little Game Boy screens. 
but they you can even like full size. No, they're, they're like really massive. small. They're really you can fit a full size thing in there, but the screen they give you is super small. But I mean, you don't really need that much in a work truck if people are just using it for whatever. Yeah, it's not like you're jamming. But you can still plug in your phone, so it, I'm gonna it's leave awesome. this in here. Here's the meat and potatoes to the vlog. Oh. That, that was a great idea. Take it from me. Oh, yeah. The V8 sound, man. Sound of freedom. Flowmaster Super 40 Series, brother. Oh. Rolling once again, Sirius XM in the D Max at the stoplight with all windows down 40 freaking degrees outside freaking freezing out here but the w the tinted uh, windows are a bit too dark so I'm gonna keep them down just waiting on this light here and make sure this clip gets uh yeah so just waiting on the light <laughs> 